Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys where I get my custom content from. This video has been requested by a lot of you for quite some time now and I really thought it was important to properly credit uh, the creators or the artists who make the hair meshes I've been using for custom content in my Let's Plays. So I'm going to link all of or as many of those oh websites where I got my downloads from in the description down below. So you guys can check those out. Uh, but first of all, I'll just say that I am not a huge custom content user. I'm probably one of the Simmer YouTubers who use the least amount of custom content. Uh, I know there's a few people who use none, but I just have a few select pieces that mm. some of you guys have shown some interest in. And I'm very, very selective with the aesthetic of custom content. For me, it has to suit the game or else I am not interested. Like it has to look like The Sims team would have made it for me to want to use it. So yeah, I'm very, very selective. Uh, oh. But anyways, let's just go through a few of them before I show you the websites I got them from. This hair was one I used for my Sim Pearl in my Barbie mm. Let's Play. It's just like a short hairdo when her sister cut her long hair off when she was jealous. <laughs> now for me, I personally prefer having original Sims 4 hair swatches. Even though they are limited, I do prefer them. Uh, although this particular hair has really, really nice colors. Um, that are really nice and sophisticated, but I'm not into like all of the bright colors and heaps of ombre and stuff personally. So often what will happen is a creator of CC will make a hair mesh, so a hair design, and they'll make it in like the Sims default colors. And then sometimes people, another creator will recolor their mesh. So they'll actually take their mesh credit the person who created the mesh and they'll just recolor it into all of these different colors. So sometimes you have to be really careful that when you do download a hairstyle that you do get the original mesh. Uh, that's just a little heads up. That confused me to begin with. Uh, so yeah, this is the same hairstyle but in the original swatches. So I believe this creator, the original creator made this one and then this person recolored it. So I have both, but I prefer this. I'm just sticking to the game as much as I can. This is another one which I really, uh, I really love. I don't know where it's from because it doesn't have a tag on it, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we'll recognize it in some of the websites we look at in a second. Uh, so that's really nice. Long hair is very difficult in uh, The Sims animation. So I think they did a really good job with that. This one here is an example that I thought I'd leave in for hairstyles that don't work. So that's when I get bald Sims. Now this might've been my fault why it didn't work or it may be the CC creator's fault. I don't know, but it's probably cause I never got the original mesh. Um, so be aware that you're gonna have some weird stuff if you start using CC content. You gotta be careful and keep it as clean as possible. This hairstyle I'm in love with. <laughs> so nice, looks really good. Uh, this one you guys have probably seen me using a lot. I think this is really pretty. This is something that I would love to use uh, myself in real life. I'd like to use in real life, like I can use it. I mean, you know what I mean, like I wish I could wear it. This one I haven't really used much, but I thought it was cute and I thought it was very true to the Sims uh, aesthetic or style of graphics. Here's another short do. And this one's got lots of colors. This is actually really cool. Uh, I love how they did the swatches because they have the original swatches in order, which is really nice and familiar. But then on top of that, they have all of these other ones. This is probably the dream style of custom content oh. for me. Um, and then this person's also recolored it into just some natural browns. Hmm. This one, I don't really know why I downloaded this one. I never use this one. I mean, it's pretty. I just don't like the front of it that much. I feel like the part's a bit weird. I have the space buns, which I'll link to you guys too. Love the space buns. Uh, I have a ponytail, which I used when I created Cinderella in The Sims 4. And this actually has a separate, I think a separate piece. Yeah, so this piece is in accessories. So you can recolor the headband if you want to. Otherwise, it's just going to remain white if you take off that accessory, I mean, remain blue. Uh, so that's an example of accessories with hair. 
This one's goals. Love this ponytail. Again, it stays really true to the Sims 4 mm. style of graphics. This one's beautiful. Love that the original swatches are off the top. And then if you want more, you can go down here and get some really cute ombre styles. Uh, so, oh, that one was cool. So yeah. And it's always such a surprise when you click on them to see what they look like. <laughs> this one is really cool. Love this. I just thought it was just awesome. I love it in the red colors. And this hair is actually Zelda hair. So this is made for a guy sim. And I am obsessed with The Legend of Zelda. This is Link's hair, the character mm. from that game. Uh, it's my second favorite game after The Sims. So that's the Link hair. And then there's also the Zelda hair too, uh, which is really pretty. And there's furthermore an accessory to go on top of this. So we can scroll down, 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 down. Here they are. And they're actually little flowers to go in the hair. So I'll show you guys that website as well. Uh, but I just thought these were really, really pretty. And yeah, just really nice. Then this one's a personal favorite of mine. I've used this on Bailey in my Parenthood LP, I think. No, did I use this on Bailey? No, I've used it on myself, my sim self, and in a and Barbie LP, I think. Uh, really, really, really nice. This one's another popular one. This is an Ariana Grande inspired hairstyle, but I absolutely adore it. Again, I've used this heaps on my sim self and in Barbie. Just really cool. Here's an example of freaky custom content that you really do not want in your game. Like, uh-oh. Ah. This scares the bejesus out of me. This is why I don't use much custom content because I'm like, oh my God, my Sim has scary eyes and a question mark on their head. What is wrong in the world? <laughs> so yeah, I want to get rid of that, but I don't know which file it is. So I'm like, ooh. Uh, this one is another pretty one. Just really cute hairstyle, love that. And pigtails in the end. So they're pretty cute. Just a bit extra, but definitely add a lot to your Sims characters. So yeah, that's basically all I have in terms of hairstyles. And I also have piercings. Uh, the only piercings I have is nose piercings. I wouldn't usually get these, but I wanted them for my storytelling in my Parenthood LP. Uh, so yeah, these, these are pretty cool. A lot of you guys have asked where I got these from. Um, so you have septum piercings and nose rings. Uh, and also keep in mind that probably why the Sims don't have piercings in the game is because they don't work on every face shape. Um, so if you have like a really big nose, some, oh, it's not really working on my Sim, but sometimes you can't actually see the nose ring properly. And you can have multiples of these. So you can like have someone with heaps of nose rings and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's where the nose rings are from. Okay, so there's two websites that I really, really like for custom content. Uh, this one is the first one I'll link down below. It's called littlecrisps at tumblr.com. And I guess that's James. Uh, and James does an amazing, amazing job of these hairstyles, which are presented so beautifully. This page is so clean. There's nothing worse than going to websites where there's ads like everywhere and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing. But yeah, this is really nice, clean content. There's often the mesh link. So you download the mesh first and then the recolor if you want the recolor. But I particularly like just getting the original meshes because this person, James, has really, really nice taste in the hairstyles. Uh, so yeah, and often there's um, already hairstyles in the game that have just been changed a little bit. So that's cool. Uh, so let's scroll down. Oh, that hair texture is stunning. That sim is stunning. Love, 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 love. <laughs> so I just scroll through the pages and have a look now and then if there's anything new that I like. I'll see if, okay, so there's the Zelda hair. Uh, I didn't actually get the Zelda hair from this website though, um, but that's there. Uh, let me see. Here's the short hair I found. Uh, so that's on this website. I, this hairstyle's similar to the longer one I have. A little bit different though. If we keep scrolling down, oh my gosh, there's so many lovely different kinds. I've had this in my hair once, I, uh, in my hair once, in my game once. 
That's a good one. This is life. Uh, okay, here's one of the long hairstyles I have. This one here. I've got that one and, oh my gosh, hello. Hello. There's my tied up ribbon hair. You guys can grab that one from here. The space buns are on this website. Uh, okay, so there's a lot, the side long style. You guys get the point. And the Ariana Grande uh, is linked here as well. So that hairstyle's here. Uh, one of the places where James gets a lot of content from or meshes from is from Sim Laugh Love. And this creator is really, really fantastic at, uh, wait, is it, did they create it? I think Joanna creates the custom content, yeah. She's really fantastic at making content that is true to the game aesthetic. The style looks like it could be made in the Sims 4 game. So there's lots of heads on here. If you go to downloads, uh, you can see here all of their stuff they've made. The pigtails are on this website. Uh, this is the original tied up hair that we saw on the other page. Space buns, there's a lot of fun clothes. The ponytail hair it also comes with a fringe lots of really nice stuff on here and really simple stuff so I like that uh sadness simmer is where I found a creator called sweet taco plum bobs who unfortunately deactivated their accounts uh, so that's a bit of a shame but sweet taco plum bobs made some really gorgeous hairs particularly this long one here the tied back one, really nice. And I got the links to those hairs from Sadness Simmer at Tumblr.com. Um, so you'll notice some of the hairs here that I also have, uh, this one too. And the downloads are just here. Uh, the Ariana Grande hairstyle is on this one, which I'll link. I think this is where I got it from. And Preline Sims is the creator of the nose piercings. Again, all the ads everywhere. I really, I know they need to make money somehow, but I just feel like this layout really turns me away from the website. Um, but yeah, the nose piercings are here. And then my Sims 4 blog is where I found the Link and Zelda ha hair and accessories by Blog Simple Simmer. So they are here. So I'll link all of these down below so you guys can find them. Uh, but yeah. Also, just as a heads up, do download these at your own risk. Um, you know, be careful of viruses, all of that stuff. Be safe with any files you download. If you're unsure about how to download them or put them in your game, there's lots of tutorials out there. And if you're really bad with downloads and stuff like that, maybe get someone to help you. Uh, and also if you're a younger viewer, ask your parents if you're allowed to download this kind of stuff to put in your game. Most of it's safe, but of course you might need help with it. Anyway, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. Do let me know in the comments down below if uh, you are going to download any of these hairs or if there's any personal favorites. And I have the hiccup, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.